Hi everyone, this is Jason McGee. Um, in celebration of IBM Workload Deployer shipping this week, I thought it would be good to put together a series of demo movies to show you um, the capabilities of Workload Deployer to kind of walk you through how to use the product and show you um, some of the cool things that you could do with Workload Deployer. So we're going to do that. We're going to uh, have a whole series of videos here um, showing you, I think, a lot of the core uh, features of Workload Deployer. Uh, I'm going to start uh, this first clip with uh, just a quick walkthrough of the UI um, so you can understand how um, the UI is organized and what some of the key concepts are. And then we'll, we'll uh, dive into some examples of how to actually deploy applications to the cloud using Workload Deployer. So to get started, um, the first thing you do with Workload Deployer, of course, is log in. Um, the Workload Deployer UI is a multi-user uh, uh, or multi-tenant interface. Uh, so everyone on your team, all the developers and testers and operations folks can have their own accounts. Um, the UI is a role-based UI um, that shows the user exactly what um, they're allowed to do. So in this example, I'm actually going to log in as um, a, a typical kind of application developer or tester, someone who has the authority to define and deploy applications onto uh, the cloud. This is not the cloud administrator. Uh, you can't configure the cloud and, and uh, create users and things like that. Um, you can just log in and uh, create your applications and deploy them to the cloud. When you log in, you get presented with this interface. Um, the workload deployer interface um, <clears throat> has a, an action area in the middle and a menu bar along the top. The menu bar is broken up into um, four key sections. Um, the instances menu um, allows you to see all of the running um, environments and applications that you have on the cloud. Uh, in Workload Deployer, uh, we support <clears throat> basically three styles of deployments. We have virtual applications, uh, which are running on the cloud, uh, which represent web apps or databases or, or other types of applications that you've deployed to the cloud. We have virtual systems, uh, which are collections of virtual machines that represent different environments, like I have a uh, WebSphere application server cluster, or I have a DB2 server. Um, and virtual system instances lets me see those things that I have running. Uh, we have virtual appliances, which are standalone OVF-based virtual machine instances that are running in the cloud that I may have imported into Workload Deployer and launched. Um, and then I have database instances, which are running independent or standalone databases that I've deployed through our database capabilities. Um, the next important menu is the Patterns menu. Uh, the Patterns menu is where I go to define applications, systems, and databases that I want to deploy. So instances are things that are running. Patterns are where I define templates um, of uh, applications or systems that I'm, I can deploy in the future. Um, so again, you have virtual application patterns, which define apps, virtual system patterns, which define topologies of, of products like Webster App Server or, or or DB2 or portal. Um, and then I have uh, database patterns which represent the definition of an independent standalone database that I want to deploy to the cloud. Instances and patterns are the two uh, most common areas of the UI where you'll spend most of your time to defining things you want to deploy and managing the things that you have deployed. Um, the other key sections are the catalog section uh, and the cloud section. The catalog section allows me to define um, components that can be used in the creation of patterns. So for virtual applications, I can define reusable components like um, I might have a, a common database that exists in my company like the employee database or the customer database. And instead of having to type in the address and credentials for that database every time I want to use it, I can simply define a reusable component which represents that database and use it in all my applications. So the reusable components section lets me do that. Uh, virtual application templates lets me define common templates for applications. Like maybe in my group I have an application which is two web apps and three databases. That's a common configuration. Um, I can define that as a template it, share it with other people and reuse it quickly. Uh, virtual images lets me um, upload and manage the virtual image content on the on the cloud and introduce new images that can be deployed. Virtual appliances where I go to install OVF images that I want to be able to deploy to the cloud. Script packages is where I can define scripts that I want to execute as part of virtual system patterns. Um, I have add-ons for things like the ability to add disks or networks um, to 
existing virtual systems. Uh, this is also where I would go to install emergency fixes that I want to be able to apply to a running system or to a pattern as part of its deployment. Um, and I can also here get access to my database tools. Uh, the final section that I see as a deployer is environment profiles um, under the cloud menu. Environment profiles allow me to define resource constraints like this application or this user is allowed access to a certain amount of CPU or memory or resource when it's running on the cloud. So I can define or I can also use this to define things like dev test production environments that I want to segment as I deploy my applications. The final thing you see in the UI is um, just some basics. Um, I have a profile here where I can control uh, my name and email address and my email notification preferences for the cloud and change my password. Um, and then also you'll see in the right hand side of the main screen a link to download the command line tools. So if you want to be able to have programmatic or command line access to Workload Deployer and do the same things you do in the web interface um, through uh, a Python script, um, you can download the command line tools from IWD, uh, install them on your machine, and then start creating uh, automation scripts um, to programmatically interact with uh, the cloud. So that's the basic layout um, of Workload Deployer. Let's uh, uh, start looking at how we deploy applications. In the next clip, we'll actually walk through how you define a virtual application pattern and deploy it to the cloud. Thanks.